pretty sure we're almost there. <sighs> Something just doesn't feel right about this whole thing. Yeah, I'm just not sure about this. Well, look. We already signed up, and there's no point in turning back now. Plus, it's a pretty simple job, considering the fact that I'm trying to save up for a new... Yeah, for a new whip. We know. Didn't mean to flex how much more money I have. <laughs> huh? You and your whopping bank account total of $5,000? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 5000 more than you're rolling with. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Me and you both know, bro. Ugh, can you guys shut up already? And I think that's the place. <laughs> Yikes, looks like Todd's house. This place really did go down here. Huh. Yep, guess so. Can a bear be? Congratulate you on the behalf of Tony's Tacos on earning your position here as security personnel. We know it's a big deal, so don't worry. We'll make sure you're equipped with the right tools necessary to complete this job. So with that being said, let's get you acquainted. First of all, in your office, there are two important things to know. Number one, your computer, or otherwise known as your security camera. Tapping into your computer should allow you to access your security cameras, which were placed strategically throughout the facility. I do want to tell you though that these security cameras do not cover every inch. I mean, there are plenty of blind spots. Two and four blind spots actually lie right outside your doors. This means that you won't be able to see outside of your doors if they are closed. Now, this brings us to our next important piece of discussion. Your blast doors. These were installed primarily for your security. We do realize that you are working a job which has its risks. So in case anything happens, you're being chased or somebody's trying to break in, you can close these blast doors and make sure that your safety is your priority. Now, these blast doors aren't anything to play with. They're not toys. They are highly dangerous if you stand underneath them. They will close on anything, so anything that's standing in its way, you can say goodbye to it. It's also critical to realize that these two doors, when closed, put an extreme amount of strain on our only two working generators. So if you don't plan to run out of power and keep the lights on, then keep those doors open. Now, one at a time works, but two at a time is too much for our generators to handle, so please, be careful. Now that may lead you into the question of, well, where are these generators? I mean, if they do break down, is there anything you can do about it? Yeah, you can. We trained you on how to repair them, so let me tell you where they're located. Within your office should be a newly installed flat screen TV, which displays a digital map of the entire restaurant. This is going to come in handy whenever you need to locate something. Now there should be alarm lights installed on that TV screen. These alarm lights will only enable whenever there's a malfunction or a shutdown of any sorts. So if a generator were to accidentally break down at some point, an alarm light should go off telling you exactly where you need to go to fix it. Luckily for you, the only two generators which power this entire facility are located in the same area, the parts and service region. The third and only alarm light in the arcade actually corresponds to the ventilation system. We have installed our ventilation reset switch in the arcade. I know it's unconventional, but I think we decided that was the best spot for it. Knowing where the ventilation reset switch is located will be the deciding factor between life or death. The cons about purchasing an old, fancy piece of 
Rhea that everything around it's pretty much historic. I mean, they're antiques. So your ventilation system sucks. Sorry to break it to you, but you're gonna have to reset it every once in a while. And since all the doors are locked here, you're not gonna have an extra airflow of air anytime soon. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot to mention within your office. Towards the south wall in the back part of your office should be a small stage. On this stage should be an old and abandoned enemy. Something that we can salvage there. Not to worry, these animatronics are shut down, so there's no source of power anywhere within their rigs. So between me and you, there shouldn't be another. These animatronics are in decent shape considering how old they are.
the list. Yeah, this place needs serious Hello. renovations. Welcome back. It's good to see you. I'm sure your last night was a learning experience. Tonight you should be more efficient, knowing the area, knowing the surroundings. You should be able to get places quickly. With that being said, your duties remain the same as last night. Continue to monitor your power and oxygen levels, as those are critical for your survival. Malfunctions are bound to occur, so make sure those shoelaces are tied, because you're going to be running. Just make it till 6 a.m., and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have a nice night. Smoke is worse and worse every day.
This place needs serious renovations. Things up. I can see why I know Mr. Rick here. 